In this video, we're going to be looking at the volume of different prisms. Now, prisms include shapes such as cubes, cuboids, triangular prisms, and cylinders. That's at least for the standard shapes. Have a think about what they all have in common. If you look at this diagram, take a bit of time, what do they all have in common? Now, hopefully you've managed to work it out, but they're all just 2D shapes, squares, triangles, circles, that everyone is familiar with, that have just been dragged out in some way or stretched. This actually makes calculating the volumes really straightforward. So first of all, we have to calculate the area of the front face. So by the front face, I mean this shape here, this shape here, and the same for the other two. Now on a square or a rectangle, it's simply going to be base times height. So both of these are going to be exactly the same. You can see the base highlighted here and the height here. Now on the other two, slightly more involved, but definitely something we've seen before. So for the triangles, we do base times height divided by two. And for the circle, we would do pi times the radius squared, so pi r squared. If we go back to all of these, as we said before, as we said before, a prism is just a 2D shape that has been stretched backwards. So the volume, once we've worked out the area of the front face, also known as the cross-sectional area, all we have to do is multiply it by how far it's been pulled back, which I've signified with the length in all of these. So it's base times height times length. Base times height times length for those two. This one will be base times height over 2 times by the length, and pi r squared times by the length. Now there will be different situations where the length might be called the height or the depth, but the main format of the question will always be the same. So now that we know the general equations, all we have to do now is just look at an example. So I'm going to take the cylinder as our example, as it is probably the hardest out of the four. So you can see here we have a cylinder. Now the cylinder be careful with the labelling. We have a diameter of 8 and a length is 10. Now if you remember what our equation was for the cylinder, it is going to be pi r squared, so that front face, multiplied by how far it goes back. So h or l, depending on height or length. It could be called whatever. So all we have to do is basically just substitute in those numbers and it will give us our result. Now, if the diameter is 8, if we half that, the radius would be 4. By substitution, we want to do 4 squared multiplied by pi, multiplied by that length signified by the 10 there. Now, 4 squared is 16. So 16 pi, if we were to write it in terms of pi. And 16 pi times 10 is just going to be 160 pi. Now with the units, let's say it's centimetres, it's always going to be centimetres cubed with volume. An easy way to think of this is it's a 3D shape, so you're going to have the 3, which is the cubed on the centimetres. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this helped.